it's Friday, which means it's new makeup release Friday. Guys, this is one of my favorite series to do where we sit back, relax, we talk about all the new makeup releases and whether or not we think it's worth it. So you guys wanna see what they are this week, well then definitely keep on watching. the james dean day dream look in your eye sorry it is officially october 27th which means that it's 1989 re-release taylor's version and i'm so excited i am wearing my heiress tour sweater in honor of taylor swift launching her 1989 taylor's version it was her birthday gift to me it was her birthday gift to me and i also just want to say a huge huge thank you to everybody who showed up for my birthday stream last night it was so fun you guys were so incredible to everybody that donated came members and just said happy birthday and just showed some love i seriously want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart you truly made me feel very special and it was very sweet and i just i love you guys i'm very blessed to have you guys in my life all right guys happy birthday <laughs> kawis and kais i mean ali <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Why you look so mad? <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Ali. Oh. Happy birthday to Ali. Guys, yes. Come on, come on, get your cake. Come on, go get your oh, cake. Yeah, guys, yeah. yeah, yeah, you are you guys. Time. Yeah. We get birthday cakes, birthday cakes, yay! Oh no, here you go, Kaya. There you go. No, that's for Kaya. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh yeah, you just go take that, okay? Come on, here you go, baby. Here you go. I gotta make my wish. Yay! <laughs> So with that said, guys, welcome back to another episode of Vlogoween. We're going to go ahead and dive straight on into the new makeup releases, and we're going to see whether or not we think it's worth it. So starting off, we have one, two, Freddy's coming for you, three, four, better lock your doors. If you guys did not see, Glamlight officially announced that they are doing their Nightmare on Elm Street collection. Now, we don't know the full collection release, but what we do know is that there is going to be a brush set. I believe there's going to be two palettes, and that's kind of what they teased so far. So I do want to let you guys know that this collection is going to be launching on October 31st at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which would be 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys can use code ALLYD, which will save you guys 15% off this collection. Now, you guys know I love Glamlight light more than anything i love makeup i love glam light i love horror i love halloween and i particularly do love a nightmare on elm street now this is the series that i grew up watching i love freddy krueger a lot i literally was gonna be freddy krueger for halloween this year when going to the glam light party but i ended up not being able to go so i'm really really excited for this collection but there is a but and i do have to say a but I am just a little sad that they are releasing this collection on October 31st. Now, I understand why they did because they said that they didn't want to overwhelm their consumers. They didn't want to overwhelm the website because pretty much when Scream happened and Jason happened, like it kind of like crashed their website. It was really overload and they're really, really behind on orders. So they didn't want to overwhelm their crew, the system, everybody. So they did kind of slow things down and they did kind of push back the launch just a little bit. So I definitely respect that. But at the same time, as a makeup lover, I'm kind of like, damn, like you're going to post it on the 31st by the time the people get it it's gonna be well after halloween you know and this is supposed to be like not necessarily a halloween collection but like it kind of is so it kind of sucks that it is being released so late because i wanted to use it before halloween and possibly on halloween and i don't think that's gonna happen but i am really excited for this collection nonetheless and as soon as we know more information about this i'll definitely let you guys know but so far i do see a five piece brush set i do know there's gonna be two eyeshadow palettes in this collection i think they might be 10 pan palettes i'm not entirely sure but i think that's what it is and i'm I'm sure there's been more stuff being revealed throughout the weekend, but it does launch on October 31st at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Next, today officially starts the Sephora VIB Rouge Sale. This is where you guys can save 20% off, 15% off, and 10% off. So starting today, the Rouge members will save 20% off. And then on um, the 31st, 
uh, the VIP will save 15% off. And if you're an insider, you'll save 10% off as well. And then anything off the Sephora collection at 30% off. So I do want you guys to know, I went ahead and I purchased everything I was gonna purchase for the Sephora Rouge Shale. I am gonna have my video launching, I'm gonna have a video out tomorrow of everything that I bought because I actually did just come back from Sephora. And let me tell you, I will tell you the story in that video, but I will say there's two things that I'm upset about. First, I wanted to restock of this. Oh, I wanted to restock of this, but they didn't have it in person and they don't have the full size online. I think they do have the mini version online, but I'm gonna wait to purchase that. But this is sold out and I'm just like, I need it. I need it because it's my favorite, favorite setting spray, especially really oily skin. The second is that I came across this perfume that I'm probably going to end up getting for myself down the line because they didn't have a little mini size of it. Size of it. If they did, oh my God, I would have bought it. Um, it's this Ellis Roth. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Ellis something. And the perfume is called Salt Life. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Let me tell you, that was probably the best smelling perfume I have ever come across. I instantly was like, what is this magic? Like it smells like you're at the beach, but like in a clean resort. I, it's just, it's so fancy. It's so pinky out bougie. It's my rich people's skin perfume. It smells incredible. I probably will end up picking up a travel size of it because I want to purchase something on the first since the sales can be still going around. So I didn't purchase it right now, but I will probably purchase a sample size online because I did go in person and I didn't get to find everything that I wanted. Um, but we'll talk about that in my video for tomorrow that you guys will see my Sephora haul because I did get quite a few items that I'm really excited about actually, but the sale officially does start today. If you guys do want to check it out, I did a whole video on my Sephora VIB recommendation plus my wish list. I'll link it down below for you guys. But if you are a Rouge member, you guys save 20% off today. And then starting on the 31st, VIB and Insider does save 15 and 10% off. Plus you get 30% off any Sephora collections from now until November 6th. Alrighty. So up next, it looks like L is rolling out with dual chrome liquid eyeshadow. I think this is really cool. I swore they came out with something like this a long time ago. I could be mistaken, but I swore Elf rolled out with something like this. But they're rolling out with three shades. We have Invis. <laughs> what the fuck is Invis? <laughs> we have Enus Vim. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have Venus Envy, Cyber Pink, and Mermazing. So they do retail for $8 a piece. Um, this is kind of interesting. I'll probably end up passing on this. I really want to get the e.l.f. lip oils, but I'm just going to wait till I see them in person, honestly. Um, but I probably am going to skip on this just because I really don't use liquid shadows. I used to be obsessed with them back in the day. And then, I don't know, as I got older, they're just not really for me anymore. They do tend to crack, they crease, they don't have longevity. And I just... I don't know. I was like really obsessed with like the Stella Glitter and Glow back in the day. If you guys were here in the earlier days, I was obsessed with them, but now I'm just kind of like over it. So uh, that's an easy pass for me. All right. So up next, it looks like YSL is doing their holiday set, which is a perfect time because it's going to be launching to the Sephora sale, but that's going to be a two piece lip treatment oil and matte lipstick set. There is a three piece matte liquid set for $29 and there's a higher standard three piece satin matte cream blush set for 22. I'm not going to lie. I really, really do love the LYS bronzer. That is something that like I hated at first, but then you guys told me to try it again and I did and I fell in love with it and I still can't find my shade. My shade is Harmony. I still can't find it anywhere. I can't find it in person. I think it might be available on Line. This shit's only sold out. It's only sold out because it went viral on TikTok. TikTok sells everything out apparently. But uh, this was actually really cool. I did see the uh, cream blush set in person, but I didn't see the lip sets. If I saw the lip sets, I might have picked it up just because I really want to try their lip stuff because I never tried them before. But um, if you guys do want to pick it up, now be the time to do so. But shit, I had no idea that Drake rolled out with a uh, a candle they rolled out with a winter warmth. This is a better rolled fragrance house. It's their new holiday candle. And this is a fruity, cozy scent filled with fresh mint, apples, and soft musk, nuanced with strawberry and balsam, creates a decadent wintry fragrance, reminiscent of taking a walk through the city streets, come with a gold marker design for personalization 48. That's actually kind of cool. Um, we are definitely getting into the holiday spirit. The Christmas is literally like... I uh, found out yesterday that on my birthday, on October 26th, literally from that point on, you have 60 days until December 25th or 24th. You have 60 days. So Christmas is literally 59 days from now. Can you believe that? 59 days from now, it's Christmas. <laughs> Time is going by so fast. I can't keep up, but um, this is uh, this looks like this would be a cool candle. I'd want to smell it in person though, but it looks kind of cool. Okay, so up next, it looks like there's a new collab. It is in beauty project collaboration with Poppy. 
Um, this is going to include two lip oils. It's Poppy's. It's going to be in the shade Raspberry Rose and Cranberry Frizz. It's Poppy's signature flavor for Raspberry Rose. And I could be wrong, but I think I might be right. Isn't Poppy the probiotic gut health drink and it helps you poop? <laughs> I could be wrong. I definitely have had some Poppy before and I know that's a probiotic drink and I have drinking it. And I don't know if it's helped me poop or not. I mean, I know that probiotics are really great for your gut and sometimes it can help to stimulate or balance or cleanse your gut, just kind of depending on what you have going on down there. I do take probiotics, but um, I will say I really did enjoy the poppy drinks, but I definitely think, I think it's supposed to help you with like your pooping and your gut health. So it's kind of cool. This brand is collaborating with them and there's also gonna be a new flavor for poppy. It's gonna be a cranberry frizz. I kind of want to try that one. I kind of want to try that one. Oh my God, y'all, this is actually so freaking cute, but Kitchen just did a collaboration with e.l.f. So they're rolling out with a Periwinkle Christmas Satin Pillowcase, a Candy Cane um, Satin Heatless Curling Set, a two-piece scrunchie set, and a sparkly green glitter claw, claw clip. Oh my God, these are actually so freaking cute. Uh, these are actually adorable. If I see these in person, there's a very good chance I might, I might actually pick this up. At least like the claw clip and like the scrunchies. I don't, probably wouldn't do the hair curler, but maybe the satin pillowcase. All I know is that it's so freaking cute. I kind of want it. Okay, so up next, it looks like Replica is rolling out with a new perfume. This is the, called I think it's called From the Garden. And this is gonna have earth and tomato leaves. And I was actually talking to Angelica about this. She said this is one of her favorite notes. I don't really know what that smells like. It's tomato leaf and green mandarin. I wonder what that smells like. I wonder if I would like that. I remember back in the day, Jacqueline used to rave about Replica and how much she loved it. So I went and bought the travel size set because, well, I was an idiot. And I was not that impressed with the perfume scents. I really wasn't that big of a fan. So I'm really glad I got the travel size set, not the full size. But I did, I did talk to Angelica. She said she's really looking forward to this perfume because of the earth and tomato leaves. I'm very curious to see what this would smell like. So this is one of those perfumes I would definitely go in store to smell just because I've never heard this being like a perfume scent. Like it's very fascinating to me. I'm fascinated by this one. Oh shit, it looks like Hermes. Hermes is releasing the Ombre de Hermes eyeshadow quartet. This is a refillable eyeshadow palette creating a, a natural, intense, or sophisticated look including mattes, satin, and shimmery finishes with a geometric shape and a round case protected by a canvas drawing string drawstring pouch and a brush and a lacquered wood in an orange box it retails for 108 dollars for four, four freaking shades and let me tell you guys right now i would never <laughs> i would never in a million years buy this plus they're not that pretty like generally they're not that pretty if you're going to charge that much be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing for me this is not you're literally just buying it for the name brand and nothing else so this is a very very easy pass for me all righty guys so up next we have another day another color pop and if you guys did not see color pop is actually re-releasing their rudolph the red nose reindeer they're releasing that they're bringing it back by popular demand it's been so long since we've seen color pop do like a re-release and I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely loved the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer collection with ColourPop. It is the absolute cutest. I still have some stuff in there. Literally the first palette you see in my collection is the Rudolph palette. It is so freaking good and they decided to bring it back. This is going to be launching on my birthday, so it's already live right now. But they also releasing their brand new, um, they also released a brand new collection as well that you guys can find on Ulta and on Target starting on the 29th, it seems. But they're doing a special delivery. So they're actually rolling out with some holiday kits and they actually did gift it to me in PR, which I'm so beyond grateful for. So the holiday kits are gonna include these little sets that you guys see right here. So it's gonna have a little eyeshadow palette and it's also gonna include a like lip liner to go with it. What, it's also gonna like a little lip liner to go with it. These are absolutely cute, like so freaking pretty. So either have a lip liner or it's gonna have a gel liner to go with it. Y'all, they freaking like hooked me up. I'm still so shocked they sent all this over. They also sent over all of their like lip sets right here as well. So these are like their little like Hershey Kisses lip set trio and lip liners. And I really, really do love the lip liners with ColourPop. They are so freaking good. I'm so excited to try these out. The collection also comes with some super shock shadows along with their glittery gel, which you guys know I'm not a big fan of this, but this is all their new holiday stuff that's gonna be launching with, um, it says Ulta Beauty. It's available at Target and ColourPop.com. It's also gonna be available on Ulta as well. Starting from the 27th through the 29th, you guys can find these holiday sets there, which I think is really cute. They are limited edition and 
I, it's a great way to try out ColourPop if you guys have not had a chance to do so. These are absolutely adorable and I'm just beyond grateful to ColourPop for sending these my way. So if you guys do want to go check those out, you guys definitely should. And like I said, they did restock their Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer collection and I just, I love that. Okay, so up next, if you guys did not know, Melt Cosmetics recent, recently released their Nightmare Before Christmas collection called their Halloween Town collection. And they decided to do a part two. So this part two is going to be the Christmas Town collection. This is inspired by Disney's Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas featuring a seven piece with a seven piece with colors everywhere to complete your holiday look. So this is going to include these, this is going to include the Santa Jack, the starring, it's, this is going to include starring Santa Jack on a 10 shade eyeshadow palette inspired by the colors of the scenes in Christmas Town. There's going to be two glitter eye gels, two jolly tone lipsticks, a cream dual highlight and blush. And I will say, I think this um, palette is actually better for, I really say that I do think this palette is actually really cute. I think they did a really good job with this palette. This is something that I actually might be interested in picking up. I did pass on the first one because I was kind of like underwhelmed by it. But seeing this one, I'm kind of like, now this is something I could get into. Now this is something that I like. So I think Melt did a better job with this one. So I might actually check this out because I know that it is available on Sephora's website and I could save some money by purchasing it. So I'm definitely gonna check it out when I get done filming. All right, so it looks like this is available now for pre-order, but you guys can get the new perfume by Beyonce. This is C Noir. So it's $160. And um, I never get these notes. So like for me, I just, it wouldn't make any sense to me. But the top note is Clementine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. Immediately no, immediately no. On you right now, I see, see what him. I needed to see. Cause I don't care. Mm -mm. Alright, and there's also a golden honey shade. Then we have the heart, which is rose absolute and jasmine sambuck. And then the base, which is na nabian mirth and golden amber. It says this bottle was designed with two parts. You can pull off the bottle out of the stand, which makes it easier for travel. There's a special gift of purchase. There's limited quality and ships in November if you guys do want to go check that out. I'm probably going to pass. I really do like to smell perfume in person before I purchase anything, but it is available if you guys do want to pick it up. Alrighty, so up next, it looks like Dior has their 2023 collection tulleries. So there's going to be a $750 advent calendar. I believe I've seen people unbox that like last year. So I think Laura did one. I think Jackie Ina did one. I remember there are like bigger influencers didn't mind spending that money. I would never spend the money on that, but they did buy the advent calendar. There's also the, um, the little mini, there's a little mini discovery set for 160. There is a fragrance and makeup set for 480. There is a 30 perfumed candle design thing for 195. There's a lip stuff for 290. There's just so much stuff that they are releasing that are just well beyond my price point. But I will say, I know that Dior is a really fancy brand and people really do love Christian Dior. So this is something that you do want to check out. Definitely go and check out Sephora because I did see some of the sets in person. So I might be able to save you a little bit of coin. Otherwise, I think you guys can find them on like their actual like retail website. Next, it looks like Glossier is bringing back their holiday stuff from it's back by popular demand which original this is the bomb formula return and cookie butter and hot cocoa i guess these came out another time and they're returning back again this year they retail for 14 dollars each they're this really cute little lip balm that everybody's demanding to have back and um i didn't see these in person i did see glossier but i didn't see these in person but i do like the fact that it is super affordable so if you guys do want to check that out if you guys like them it's available now Okay, so this next collection I actually saw was live because of Leah Janae. So this is the brand new Dove Holiday Treat Collection. So this is going to include a peppermint bark. Um, this is going to include like, I think like body washes. So there's a cinnamon pumpkin pie body wash. <laughs> there is a peppermint bark body wash. There is a body scrub in the shade, in this, in the flavor sugar cookie. And then there is a um, hot cocoa body scrub. And there's also a sugar cookie body wash. And I'm kind of intrigued. I remember I saw Leah Janet talking about this. She actually found this in person. I would have to smell it to really see if it was something that I want. Um, Cause sometimes I don't always want to smell like cinnamon or cookie or peppermint bark. Like, I don't know if I want to go around smelling like really minty because then I'm going to be starving. I want to eat myself. So I'm going to have to go check that out. See if I can find it in person and the smell it. If I like some of the scents, I probably will end up getting one. Up next, it looks like House Laboratories released their Holiday Eye Library, library Palettes. Um, I actually did see these in person. I'm not going to lie. I actually think these palettes are um, a little ugly. I'm just not intrigued by them. I saw them in person. I swatched them. They weren't bad, but I didn't think they were pretty. So that was a very 
very easy patch made. But if you do want to check them out, again, check them out during the Sephora sale. Save you guys some coin if you guys can. Alrighty, last but not least, we have a new Huda Beauty collection. So this is going to be the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge collection. This is going to include the Pretty Grunge palette, a black liquid matte lipstick and lip contour liner, and a silk balm and a blush, it seems like, or a highlighter, it seems like. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I feel about this palette. I don't know how I feel about this palette. I might end up getting it, but if I do, I'm going to get it during the sale because it does launch on November 1st and I'd rather save some coin when getting it. But it does look very, very similar to their Empowered palette, just more of a cool tone version of it. And I think the outside packaging is just really ugly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think the outside packaging is really ugly in this palette. I really wanna say it's pretty, but like the outside packaging is just kind of not doing it for me. But I also really do love Huda Beauty's formula. They have phenomenal formula. I love the Empower palette. I love everything about Huda Beauty. Their products just work very nicely. So like, <laughs> I'm probably gonna get it, but I'm gonna wait to get it during the sale. So. Those are all the new makeup releases that we have coming out this week. It was kind of more of a slower week, which I'm personally okay with because right now there's just so much makeup launching that it's just like makeup, 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 makeup. And I'm just like, ah, slow down because it's coming at you way too fast, especially because Christmas is literally like 59 days away from now, 59 days from now. I'm like, <laughs> I gotta start worrying about Christmas. You know what I mean? So I'm very grateful. It's definitely more of a slower week, but let me know what you guys think. Were you guys excited about anything I talked about? Were you guys bored? Let me know. But that is it for today's video, guys. Again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys showed me yesterday. It seriously meant the world to me. You guys are truly incredible. So <laughs> that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post almost every single day in the month of Vlogoween. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. I did just upload a new video if you guys do want to go check that out. Also, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful paid members you guys see over here. Thank you guys so much to you guys for everything. I would not be here without you guys. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video